Uh, hi everyone, this is uh, Frank and uh, uh, welcome to my shop again. Um, I had just received a package in the mail that I've been waiting for. Um, this is my custom uh, leather shop apron from a Leather by Dragonfly. And uh, I've been waiting a while for this bad boy. So uh, I thought I would uh, take the time and uh, open up the box and show you what is in it. Okay, let me get my knife out here. I'm going to be careful I don't cut into it. Put my knife aside. Okay, got the package. Put the box aside. Packaging and as you can see, it's wrapped up. Oh man, it's, I got the first smell and whiff of leather. Wow. Open up the package. Holy cow. Wow. Get her unwrapped. Uh, they gave me a couple of coasters, leather, leather by Dragonfly, a note, and in the note, reminder tips on setting up the straps and also leather care of the apron and the leather care products. And, uh, Patrick and Michelle, uh, they also sell the products that could take care of your leather uh, leather apron as well as leather goods. They have a note in here. I'll read the note here in a little bit. Um, but here is my apron. Wow, I mean, it, this looks fantastic. You know, I watched uh, Patrick and Michelle make my apron on Instagram, and I saw them sewing it up. <clears throat> I saw, uh, I think it was Patrick uh, peening the rivets, and uh, they did a, a video on the uh, branding on the side, and this is fantastic. I can see it, beautiful. Um, Patrick was uh, wearing my apron and saying, wow, this thing is really soft and boy, is it. So impressive. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm going to uh, read the instructions and get a good fit on the apron. Uh, then I'll put my recording back on. You can see I'm using my old bucket boss uh, and I'll take my belongings out of my bucket boss and now put it into my new custom leather shop apron by Leather by Dragonfly. So, wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Um, this thing is gorgeous. It is a work of art. Uh, great job, Patrick and Michelle. You two did a fantastic job on making my custom leather apron. So, um, I put it on and it looks like the adjustment here for uh, that diamond is in the right place. Um, the strap comes around and hooks up to the side here. Um, it's, that's perfect, uh, right place, right where I wanted it. I, I wanted it at my belt line, not at my belly line, which the bucket boss was at. Um, this is just fantastic. Again, as they advertise, it is a custom leather shop apron. And I don't care what kind of shop you have, wood shop, metal shop, uh, any kind of shop, auto shop, this thing is fantastic, okay? So let me tell you why. Uh, I, it's customized for me. Uh, I'm six foot three, and I'm not gonna tell you my weight, um, but I'm a pretty big guy. Uh, I wanted an apron based on how I work, and if you saw their website or their Instagram page, uh, they make a lot of different aprons, but they don't mass produce them uh, and put uh, make 25 of different colors, all the same format. 
hang them up onto a, a, a rod and then you call up and say, hey, I need this. Yeah, they ship it out next day and they get it. This is based on what tools I want, where I want them, based on my body style and my shape. Uh, and then, of course, whatever color I want. I went with two-tone, the dark brown and the black uh, accent. So uh, this is perfect for what I'm looking for. So let me kind of go down and I'll show you what I, what I use it for. Uh, I've got my uh, number two pencil, which is my go-to pencil. Um, I use it all the time um, for marking. Uh, then I have my Graph Gear 1000, my mechanical pencil. Uh, I use that for my fine marking. Uh, then I've got a Sharpie. I use the Sharpie for marking on the end grain of um, rough lumber and or uh, parts that I make so that it's easy to identify. Uh, I've got my Craftsman 6 inch steel ruler. Uh, I use this consistently. This is one of my go-to uh, tools I always use. I also use it sometimes to scrape glue. <laughs> um, let me put that in. And then I've got my maker knife. Um, this is a lot lighter weight than a utility knife. Uh, and this is perfect because I'm always kind of looking for my utility knife. Uh, this is a lot lighter, it's really easy to use, uh, and it goes right there, right behind their logo. And then I had extra room here, I, I just didn't want to stop there, so I asked them to put an extra pocket there, which they did. Uh, if I have to use another tool or something, uh, like a tick tracer, if I'm doing any kind of electric, uh, then I can go ahead and use that pocket as well. Over to the side, I supplied them with a piece of Velcro. Uh, I am going to uh, put the uh, loop side of the Velcro, this is a softer side, uh, on the back of my control. This is my remote control for my shop collection system as well as for my air filtration system. So I'll put that there and connect it. That way I don't have to look for it. Although I have three of them in the shop, uh, I can keep them on me all the time and it'll be a lot more convenient. Uh, next I've got a magnet here. Uh, I asked for a magnet uh, because as I'm working on projects, at how many times do I have screws in my hand? I'd rather be able to put the screws here on the magnet work, grab a screw, continue to work, or if I need to hold on to a bit because I went from a number two a square drive to a Phillips, I can keep my bit there as well, or my bit and my screws. So that's perfect. Um, over onto my right side, I've got my uh, Craftsman uh, 25 foot um, measuring tape. I know it's 25 foot, <laughs> but uh, this has been my go-to measuring tape uh, that I use all the time. Uh, they put the clip right there, that's where I wanted it, I'm a right-handed person. Uh, as everybody shows, I can go out here and pull it out and utilize it and then bring it back in, which is kind of nice. This thing really locks onto this apron nice. Um, and then off to my left side, I've got my square. I've got my Woodpecker's uh, 641 stainless steel square. This is again my go-to square I'm using on all my piece, piece work that I do. Um, that's sitting right off to the side on my left side. That is pretty much it. Uh, with the exception, I did get an extra loop up here. And that extra loop is for safety glasses or uh, many times my spectacles. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be handy because I'm always looking around for my glasses or my safety glasses. So this way it's right there at my fingertips and I can put them on uh, in seconds. So, wow, this is fantastic. Um, I love everything about it. Uh, the pocket, I almost missed the pocket. So I've got a pocket here. I wanted it off to the side, as Patrick says in his videos, it's kind of you know in the right uh, ergonomics, uh, a success type of uh, environment right where I want it. Uh, I keep a sheet of paper, that way it's my crib notes, or if I need to write a dimension down right away, I can pull my sheet of paper out and do that. It also has a little front pocket, so again, if I wanted to keep some screws, or several screws, or a bit, I can put it into that front pocket. And now I only have this one front pocket to potentially empty sawdust out, instead of having all those pockets to constantly keep um, uh, dropping off or, uh, or cleaning out all the sawdust out of that apron. Up here on the top, I asked them, they, they provide it, and I said I absolutely want it. I added to my apron the American flag. Uh, why? Uh, I'm a veteran. Um, I'm also a patriot. Uh, I believe and absolutely believe in U.S. manufacturing. I've been in manufacturing all my life. Uh, and what else better said is this custom leather apron is made in the United States. Awesome. 
So that's why I wanted to uh, show off my American flag. Um, again, I don't have a lot of tools on there. If you go to Patrick and Michelle's website or their Instagram page, uh, and they're also doing some YouTube videos now, uh, you'll be able to see a multitude of different um, uh, aprons that they've accomplished and created already and crafted for other woodworkers, metal workers, auto workers. Um, and you can see that you've got some that, holy cow, they got lots of tools on there. But that's what they want and that's what they get. Uh, for me, I didn't want that much. I wanted my go-to tools to be on my, my apron that I use all the time that makes me effective. It's not about being efficient for me because I am not a production shop. It's not about being, it's, for me, it's being about effective, not necessarily completely efficient, okay? So that's why you see only these bits and pieces of tools on my custom leather shop apron. Okay, so decided to get into a different position here in my shop and uh, let's just talk a little bit more about the process in finding and actually for me really deciding to go get uh, a different apron um, and why did I do it and how did I come to today showing you this custom leather shop apron. Well, um, again, as I said earlier, wearing that other uh, Bucket Boss, which I love, I think it's great. It's gr I'll definitely use it outside in construction, um, but it just doesn't fit me well. Why? Well, sure, I did. I've gotten taller a little bit. I've also gotten a little wider uh, as time went on, and uh, it doesn't really fit me that well. Uh, I've tried other cloth aprons that I've seen, um, and again, just doesn't really fit uh, me that well, or if it did, it really didn't have the pockets or the protection that I wanted uh, in an apron for my shop. So um, I came across one day um, a video that was from um, Jay Bates. And Jay uh, talked about this apron that he just got from a company called Leather by Dragonfly. And it was gorgeous. He talked about how he placed the order, he went through and had it designed, custom made, custom fit, for his height and his width and for the tools that he wanted to have on his belt. And from that time on, I actually printed out a picture of part of Jay's video and put it into my woodworking file knowing that at one day I will look for a, an apron and it would be really nice to have a custom apron. And so I wanted to capture the moment of the company, um, uh, Leather by Dragonfly, so that I could go back later on, do a search, and when I was ready for the time to go and get a leather, a custom leather apron. So um, that's why I went shopping around. So what did I do? Well, I'm pretty detailed. So uh, I went out and uh, found a couple different companies out there, uh, and including a Leather by Dragonfly. And um, I put, I did a, actually a video showing my Bucket Boss, what I'm looking for, can you do this for me? And I reached out to the three different companies and uh, two of the three responded. One didn't even respond at all. Um, the uh, one was uh, Leather by Dragonfly, the other one I won't mention. Um, uh, they both responded. Um, uh, the uh, Patrick and Michelle responded like immediately. I think it was the same day. Uh, the other company responded the next day and said, yeah, send me the video. So I sent them both the link to the video. I never heard anything from the second um, a leather manufacturer or, or shop apron guy um, and Patrick and Michelle they responded immediately they said get out to your website uh, take a look at what type of aprons we have that's the beginning and start of it all uh, you'll go and check out on the website you'll pay for your apron uh, and then we'll start a whole process of sending you a cloth apron for you to customize but not just that we'll get on to a video chat with you uh, using Google Do Duo and we will uh, spend about 45-50 minutes with you designing your apron. 
Wow. I mean, immediate responses, same day on everything I asked, uh, sent me a direction of what to do and what was next. Um, I saw basically what type of price it was going to be and I was willing to spend that um, and so that's that's basically what I did. Um, in the mail I received a package um, with a cloth apron, a white apron uh, with some uh, clips, some just a metal clip instead of this nice clip with a, with a ring. It was just uh, straps uh, with a clip on it to, to mimic uh, this uh, custom apron and uh, they gave me instructions, set up a time, so I got on there, set up a time in their schedule to do my review. Uh, they'll do it weekends, they'll do it evenings, they'll do it daylight, daytime, uh, so they were very convenient in my schedule to be able to set up the custom review for my custom uh, woodworking apron. So uh, let me go and break here, and I'm gonna play you uh, my video that I took um, that I, I think I posted up on Instagram uh, TV, IGTV, uh, going over that cloth apron. So I'm uh, in my shop here tonight and uh, I've got uh, my tripod. I got a new mount for it uh, for my cell phone, which is uh, what I'm pretty handy using in the shop when I'm trying to videotape something. And I was on a conference call today um, with uh, Patrick and Michelle uh, from uh, Leather by Dragonfly. And why was I on a conference video with them tonight? Is because I am getting one of their aprons from my wood shop. And what an experience. Uh, these two uh, were great to work with. We were on the video conference for about 50 minutes. Uh, they work with uh, me and their systematic approach to size this apron to my body. And yes, that's a big apron because I'm a big guy. <laughs> uh, hopefully my brother's not watching. He'll make some smart comments. But uh, it was pretty, uh, it was really amazing. They, uh, obviously they make hundreds of these things and uh, they're professionals at it. Um, they've done it consistently, you could tell. Uh, in their approach. So um, uh, anyway, what I did is I went and took all my tools uh, that I wanted to add to my apron. Um, I've got them all here from my uh, six inch ruler uh, to my woodpecker 641, um, my GraphGraph uh, 1000 mechanical pencil, regular pencil, the Sharpie, uh, my maker knife, and uh, then drew it all out in here. Um, so they helped me to place, make the placement of where the top should be, where my items are gonna be sticking out. So, you know, I've got a regular number two pencil, uh, my Graph Gear 1000, a, a Sharpie I usually carry, my six inch ruler, my Nick Maker's knife. Uh, and then I slipped one in on them before, <laughs> after the video. I'd like to see if I could get a pocket in here. Uh, I got it a little enough room, maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, left hand this is where my left hand is so they'll end up putting a pocket with a small mini sub pocket to it uh, gave them a couple marks where my thumbs print goes which is where my waist is right where my belt is where my hip bone um, placement for my uh, woodpeckers 641 and my tape measure oh by the way i asked them to put a magnet in and then here is uh, I'm going to send them some Velcro to attach here, uh, and that is going to be for, let me get it here, that will be for my uh, smart home remote control. Uh, this controls my shop collection. This here turns on all my filtration, and then I have all my fil filtration devices I could run separately, or I could run them all by pressing a button. So. That is pretty much it. So now I'm going to wrap this up, uh, give, give them a piece of Velcro that will match uh, the Velcro I'll use on the back of my remote control. And, uh, you know, this is the uh, package they gave me. Um, it has the leather samples to it. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the dark brown uh, with a contrast of the black. Um, and then inside their packets, uh, they give me 
a United States Postal Service envelope. And so we're gonna, if I can get it open one hand, but I can't. Um, we'll go ahead and fold up the apron, um, put a couple notes in there, and then we'll send this back off to Patrick and Michelle and uh, wait for their magical hands to make my apron. So I'm really excited about, about doing this. Um, this has been my go-to apron that I've used, oh my gosh, long, long time. Ever since Bucket Boss made them, uh, they're great. It's more of a construction type of apron. Uh, it's got the pockets and it's got a, a loop here for a hammer. You know, you could tell where I've been putting my pencil. <laughs> Uh, this is my mechanical pencil, but this is my number two pencil, and then I just kind of set my uh, ruler in here. This is the second uh, Bucket Boss I've gone through in my time frame. Uh, I've worn them out. Um, uh, they've gotten a little bit dry rot on the clip, and then also this clip uh, does not fit me at my waist where my belt is. It's, it fits me around my stomach and my love handles, and I really don't want to... Uh, uh, it's, it's uncomfortable, but I've been using it that way for a long time. And then my old one as well, if you take a look, guess what gets collected into the pockets? <laughs> a lot of sawdust. So anyway, uh, looking forward to uh, stepping up my game and putting, uh, putting an investment um, in my shop that will protect me, um, but also will provide me with uh, my tools placed specifically uh, according to my body and what I use and how I use it. Uh, very ergonomic and very lean Six Sigma. Anyway, um, that's what I'm doing here Monday night. So after that video, as you saw, then I packaged it up and I shipped it, mailed it back over to Patrick and Michelle at Leather by Dragonfly. And I waited. And I waited. And I waited. And that's not a complaint. Um, they were bombarded uh, with orders during the Christmas time, which everyone would expect. Um, I placed mine in the first quarter of this year, 2020. Uh, so they told me how many weeks it would be. Up, it could be up to eight weeks, and, and they were right. Their schedule was right. Um, it's really kind of cool. Um, uh, uh, Michelle, every so often on Instagram, has a whiteboard and she erases it and she puts a name and puts a color uh, uh, and, this, and the state. And so I saw Frank pop up, Pennsylvania, uh, uh, dark brown, black. And it's like, woohoo, yeah, baby, I've been waiting for my name to get on that board. It's, like, it's kind of like, you're on the board, you're, you're the teacher's pet. Uh, so I was excited to see my name on the board. So, I mean, what a process, it really keeps you engaged while you're waiting for your custom uh, leather uh, shop apron. So um, I waited, 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 and I was watching the process through Instagram. Uh, Patrick and Michelle do a great job taking videos, taking pictures, and they go out there and they show you the making of your uh, apron. At the end of this video, I'll show you a montage of all the different photographs and some of their videos they took during the process of creating my custom apron. So that was pretty cool. I took the journey with them on making it. I do the same thing for my customers and for my clients and my contract work. When they want a custom piece of furniture that will last them generations, I love being able to take photographs and videos. I'll post them on Instagram, I'll text message it to them, I'll put it up on YouTube or I'll do a video link to them or I'll do a FaceTime to kind of talk about some design concepts or potential change. They did the exact same thing to me and I really appreciated that engagement in the journey of making my custom leather shop apron. So uh, yeah, I've got notes here because I don't want to, I don't want to jump all over the place. <laughs> so um, Last week, you know what? I received my uh, apron in the mail and I was uh, really excited about it. I was like a kid, I wanted to open it up, but I wanted to videotape it, opening it up. And there was a lot of things going on. It was a very, very busy schedule this past weekend for me. Um, and so finally had an opportunity yesterday, which was Sunday, to be able to open it up and videotape it, uh, which is what you saw at the beginning of this video. 
Um, and wow, I mean, it is just fantastic. I, I love being able to go through this and share my experience with you. Um, you know, it, it, Patrick and Michelle kind of coin a phrase, but it's really the truth. They say it's the, your most used tool in the shop. And if you really think about it from you word workers out there like myself, and there's other uh, workers out there like iron workers, metal workers, so on and so forth. Um, you know, I'm in here and I use probably my table saw a lot. Um, I use my uh, chop saw probably the next, then my planer and joiner. Um, a sander's probably the medium uh, half the time. Uh, but the one thing I do 100% of the time is I put my apron on, okay? And you know, uh, friends, this truly is a tool. Um, it, it helps me to create and craft the uh, generational furniture that I make. And if you really use that definition, you could define that same phrase for any one of my pieces of equipment, okay? So it is the most used tool uh, in my shop, okay? I know my bucket boss was, and this will be too. You know, um, when you take a look at it, one of the things that can shock you is, Okay, it's expensive. It's an expensive apron, absolutely. Um, but so is the equipment that in my shop. Um, I have a choice to get something cheap on sale, uh, discounted, mass produced, done over in China or some other country that's not made in the USA. Um, and you, you're gonna get what you pay for. Um, the quality and craftsmanship of this custom leather uh, shop apron is amazing. And I don't know too many businesses where I can go to Grizzly, like I have my Grizzly 20 inch planer, which I love, and say, hey guys, I want to custom build that planer for me. Uh, sorry dude, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Um, if I go to uh, Bosch with my chop saw and I want to custom design that chop saw specifically for me and my reach, that's not going to happen. Uh, so this is um, uh, an investment in a tool that I mostly use in my shop. And that was absolutely worth the investment for me. This thing will uh, be here for generations. I don't have any children, but I've got a lot of nieces and nephews. And when I pass on to this earth, when God decides to take me, uh, this apron will be passed down to uh, most likely my nephews, okay? Or, or potentially my niece. So uh, it's, this thing will last forever, okay? You know, the competition uh, that's out there, um, they really don't do customization like Patrick and Michelle do. Um, they'll change some things up, maybe put two pockets down here or no pockets. Um, they'll have some pockets here, uh, but it really isn't custom. It's not made for your height, your weight. Um, it's not really uh, made to all of the tools that you want to put it and where you want to put it. And that's okay. That's their business plan. And Michelle and Patrick have their business plan. And that works. I just like and I chose Patrick and Michelle's business plan. Uh, did I wait a long time to get it? Absolutely, but it was well worth the wait. If you want something really quick and off the shelf, you know, that's out there too, but it won't be custom to your needs, okay? Um, why did I go with leather, a leather uh, apron instead of some of the other aprons that are out there um, that are cloth? Well, you know, the first thing is I got my tools at my fingertips. So I, I wanted to be able to have uh, all the tools where I want to have them uh, that is very well secured, and these are, they're nice and snug, which is what I want. I don't want to bend over and have it fall out like I had with my bucket boss. Um, it's nice and snug, which is, it, the leather kind of uh, hugs my tools on this apron, and that's what I like. Uh, it's also a protection from debris. You know, as a woodworker, you got all kinds of crap that comes out and hits you, right? Um, it's going to well, pretty well protect me from up here all the way down to uh, my body. Um, and that's good, okay? Um, leather is something that's pretty sturdy and durable that will take the, the abuse of any other kind of debris that would come out and uh, kind of hit my body, okay? Um, you know, but one of the bigger things from a safety perspective is kickbacks. 
And um, I've had two kickbacks in my life. Uh, my one kickback I've had um, actually went through uh, two sheets of drywall and insulation uh, in a wall back behind me. Um, that was probably 30 years ago. Uh, scared the heck out of me, okay? Really didn't know what I did and how I did it. I was a little fearful at that time. Uh, luckily, I was kind of off-centered from the uh, table saw why it, why it didn't hit me. But unfortunately, about four years ago, uh, I had a pretty severe kickback here in the shop. And uh, I was cutting um, a piece of plywood. I was uh, pushing it along the fence. Uh, the piece was probably uh, a foot by a foot. Uh, did not have a splitter on the back like I have now. And uh, I believe what I was doing, I was not pushing up against the fence. I was actually pushing it quickly and, and kind of pushing it toward the, the back edge of the uh, blade. And that thing shot out like a shotgun and hit me. It hit me from here down to my groin. And unfortunately, that's where I've had surgery uh, for back surgery uh, 12 years ago. And it hit me right where the incision is. I was black and blue. Um, it cut me open. Um, I had the bucket boss on. Uh, didn't matter. Um, it ripped, uh, it actually ripped my bucket boss, um, threw that one away. Um, so when you really take a look at it, you know, this thing, when, you, when I stand up here, I mean, this is pretty much when you're at the table saw for me and that blade's right here, this is the kickback area, okay? And I like having this leather you know, protecting me, you know, all the way up here. I always have my safety glasses on when I'm doing it, but I like having that leather protection uh, from my groin all the way up here for any other potential kickback. Now, I hope I never have another one, and I always use my splitter now, but that's also another reason why I went with a leather apron. And this uh, uh, leather apron uh, from uh, Patrick and Michelle, a leather by Dragonfly, is, uh, is the perfect solution for my safety. So why did I choose my apron and order it from Patrick and Michelle at Leather by Dragonfly? Well, the first thing was the customization, okay? Um, I like the idea that I initially got from Jay Bates, uh, and then uh, as I went to further research with Patrick and Michelle, uh, the customization is whatever you want to do, they can pretty much do it, okay? They're coming up with some very unique designs uh, in partnering with all of their clients on what they want on their apron. Uh, second thing, it was specifically made for me. It wasn't off the shelf, uh, didn't come from a foreign country um, that was made by somebody making 90 cents a, 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 a 10 hour shift. Uh, this was made specifically for me and it was made in the United States, okay? Uh, that's another reason. The, uh, my height and my size, I'm six foot three and I'm, well, I'm not gonna say my weight. I'm big. Uh, as I say, gravity has uh, gotten stronger on Earth since I've gotten older and it's kind of pulled my muscles down a little bit. Uh, that's my story. Uh, but it's, this apron's customized to me. It's customized to my height. I don't care if you're six foot three or five foot two. I don't care if you are 110 pounds or 200 and something pounds. Um, you know, it's made for me. It's made customized specifically for my body, just like it could be for you or anybody else that Patrick and Michelle uh, customize an apron for. Um, it's uh, my setup, okay? Uh, it's what I want. It's with my tools where I want them. Like I said, I don't have a ton of tools on here, but that's what I wanted. If you want a ton of tools on there, you could do that as well. And Patrick and Michelle have uh, videos in, on YouTube and Instagram on their website that shows all the different types of aprons. And I can't believe some of the amount of tools that are on some of these aprons, but it works for those individuals. Every single one of these are different, and that's what I like. Uh, you're not gonna see my apron anywhere else, period. It's completely different. And even if somebody somehow, some way, came up with the exact same design as I had, there ain't nobody that's gonna get these branding marks on my apron. That's right, I got branding marks from the cow that provided me with this custom uh, leather shop apron. So every single one of them are different. 
The reputation of Patrick and Michelle is another thing. Uh, they are genuine, caring uh, partners with you as a client to give you what you want. They didn't sell what they wanted. They didn't push what was easy for them. They asked me, what do you want? How do you want it? Now they gave some advice and saying, you know what, this, you know, you take your finger, you mark it there, you take a line, that's where you want to start your tools because if you don't, you have it too far up, it's going to be hitting you. You know what, they know that because they have, have experience in doing this. So their reputation is phenomenal. They will do what they say they're going to do. They communicate with their clients, tell them what's going on, engage them in it. I don't know what else uh, I can define as an excellent reputation. Service is another reason. Um, they were responsive same day, sometimes within hours of my requests or my questions. Um, it was unbelievable. I, I wish the United States service industries would take uh, some tips from Patrick and Michelle uh, because that is what makes uh, a customer loyal and going back to them and or talking to others like I am today regarding the experience in the purchase and the design and the journey of getting a custom uh, shop apron. Uh, they were very responsive, like I said. They, they answered any kind of question. They did it you know, instantaneously within hours. That was amazing to me. Uh, they gave me all different types of options. They even made other suggestions I didn't think about. Uh, some I didn't take and, and a couple that I did. Um, so I appreciate them having that uh, canvas uh, they had more oils to work with with that canvas to paint me a better picture of what my shop apron could look like. Um, they were a true partner with me. They, uh, what I like when I'm in business, I like a partnership with a client. Um, what does that mean? You know, it means that it's a give and take. Um, they were so cooperative with me. Uh, they were able to work with me. Uh, uh, even, get, hey, I got a piece of Velcro I want to send you. Can you put that over there? Well, yeah, sure, we could do that. I mean, I, I don't think of it. I don't think I've seen anybody else put a piece of Velcro on some of the other uh, aprons I've seen. Maybe they have, but I certainly haven't seen it. So uh, they really, uh, they'll work with you. Okay. Uh, I will tell you, uh, this is not a sponsored video. Okay. Um, I paid full price for my apron. Um, so Patrick and Michelle didn't ask me to do this video. They're not backing me with other aprons. They're not giving me a discount for future because, you know, quite frankly, I don't want that. That's not what I do in my shop. Uh, but why am I doing this review? You know, folks, there's a, enough negative things out there in the world, right? Everybody wants to concentrate on the negative. You know, if, uh, if we would give everybody a $100 bill, somebody would complain that theirs was dirtier uh, or not as new as everyone else. Uh, I like to look at, you know, the glass is half full instead of the glass is half empty. I'm one of those individuals that when I go to a restaurant and I have excellent service or excellent food or both from a restaurant, when I leave, I'll ask for the manager. A hundred percent of the time, the manager will ask me what was wrong. And that's a shame, right? What was wrong? You know, I'll tell him, wait a second. There's nothing wrong. I want to compliment you, your food, your chefs, or and or your server. And the surprise in their face is just phenomenal. And that's a shame. We need to concentrate on the positives in our world. We have more positive things happening in this world than we have negative things. That's why I'm doing this video. The experience that I had with Patrick and Michelle, the partnership, the options, the customization, the service, the journey, the involvement, all were fantastic. Why wouldn't we want to talk about our fantastic experiences? And that's why I'm doing this video. You've seen some of my videos. If not, you need to get on YouTube and look. But I'm pretty detail-oriented, and I'm detail-oriented on all my shop equipment. Okay, when I went through my Powermatic bandsaw, it was detailed. Or when I did the installation um, on my uh, table from Woodpeckers for my drill press, uh, I was very well detailed. Okay, 
uh, I'm detailed in this because I like to be able to provide you with information that if you ever wanted to search and find my video on a custom leather shop apron, you'd have some of the information from me and I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys have on this video um, or check out my Instagram page and you can find my email there as well. So let me uh, just kind of stand up a little bit. I'll uh, uh, show you uh, a little bit of a close up of these uh, uh, pockets that I was talking to you about. That's the Velcro. Here's my pencil, uh, graph, my mechanical pencil. Here's my marker, ruler, maker knife, glasses, extra pocket, magnet. Um, that's pretty much going to be it. I'm going to be able to get in. Um, my measuring tape that I showed you. And oh, by the way, I do need to show you one other thing on the measuring tape. On the back here. Well, I got it upside down, sorry. Let me turn it right side up. Patrick and Michelle signed it and they dated it and they've got their logo here. And just look at that. They, they've got rivets uh, that on four, actually six rivets holding looks like an eighth inch piece of uh, leather okay that's holding up that clip isn't that amazing I, I just I love it so um, I'm gonna suggest go check out Patrick and Michelle's website leather by dragonfly uh, go check out their Instagram they've got some great photographs and videos on Instagram uh, they're just starting to make some videos out on YouTube so check them out there as well and uh, see what you think, okay? I know that they would appreciate it or even any comments. Maybe you're gonna be like me. You'll see my video and you'll save it, the information, and two, three years down the road, you're gonna say, you know what, I'm ready for that uh, custom leather shop apron. And uh, you'll go out in contact with uh, Michelle and Patrick and away you go, you'll have one just like I have, okay? This is, a, this is a, an amazing apron. It is so soft when I sit down, okay? It's not a stiff piece of leather that smacks you in the face. It's very comfortable, you know, sitting on the stool. Um, you know, I, I, it's hardly, a, I hardly even know that it's on me. So it's, it's really good. So anyway, let me wrap this up. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, some a montage of the videos and photographs of the making of my apron. Uh, I know this was a long video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative for you. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to uh, leave the comments below in my YouTube video or check me out on Instagram. You can, you can send me messages there as well. Uh, as always, if you like it, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you also liked it. Um, I think that's all I've got to say, which was probably enough. Thank you so much for watching my video, and if you are a subscriber, thank you for my journey and, uh, and letting me share all my different projects, whether it's shop or whether it's a client project uh, in, in, in your home. So thank you very much, guys. You have a great day. Be safe out there.
Leather by Dragonfly. Wanted to show and spotlight these beautiful aprons. We have Mark in South Carolina. We have Frank in Pennsylvania. And this one is Ronald in Canada. Let me show you some unique features of each one of them. This one is Mark. This is the tan, the brown pockets. I love the two-tone look. And he wanted a Polini pocket so that the whole Polini is secure in that pocket at reach at all times. Double stack some pockets. Got a 641 and a Delve Square. And I think he's got a uh, really cool pocket knife on that one. And this one is gorgeous. Look at that brown. Wow. Look at that green. Has some beautiful brands on it. And again, this one is Frank in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Really cool one up here too. Unique feature on his is he has a dust remote that he has put the opposite part of the Velcro on there to hold his dust remote in that area. This is Frank's wood shop, right? Yes, it is. Beautiful one. And we have Ronald in California. Let me come to this side and show you. So he has a digital caliper here and a market knife that is longer than average. So it's seven inches long, a little bit wider than the average too. So custom pocket works great there. And he's got this gorgeous brand wow. on his apron. A little barbed wire scratches too. And look at that green. And a, another unique thing that just happened is these guys all happen to all be over six foot tall. We have six foot five, six foot three, and six foot two. I don't know how they all happen to get on the work table all at the same time, but that is the beauty of custom of... Can you imagine how short their aprons would be if they were just buying an average apron if it wasn't custom? Absolutely. So leatherbydragonfly.com. And guys, these aprons are going to rivets and straps and head it out to you. That's right. Custom bespoke apron. Beautiful. Later. Let's take a look at what beautiful apron is in rivets. Maybe it's Frank's wood design. Take a look over his shoulder. upper pockets there. Another cool apron that we want to show you. Patrick is modeling Frank from Pennsylvania, his apron. And Frank is a 3X and he is six foot three. Taller than me. Yeah, so Patrick, show me some things about this apron. On this one, Frank's got a uh, tape measure clip. He's got, in lieu of the pica pen, he's got a custom knife he's going to put in there. He's got a safety glasses ring, rulers, the cool thing. A magnet on a bespoke apron. Great for your bits and screws. Uh, also, he's got a 641 pocket. Yep, and his is a stainless 641. Going to be really cool looking. Yes, it is. And Talk about the Velcro here. I'm going to tell you patch. about that. Frank sent along this Velcro. This is the soft side of the Velcro. He's going to attach his dust boat to that. He's attaching the rough side, the loop side to that. And let me show you some cool brands on this apron there's almost almost like there's numbers on there and there's two sets there's a dark set and there's a light set 
It's really cool. And then it kind of wraps up to the top there. Yeah. Check out this green down here on, the, on my leg. That just looks, that just feels like That's what you leather. like. That's, that's great like. right there. That's, that's good. And Frank also has a YouTube channel. Frank's Wood Design. Designs. And his uh, videos on YouTube are long format. A lot of information, detailed information. And uh, check it out. YouTube and Instagram. So head it out to you, Frank. Take care, Frank. Enjoy.